Yeah, so my grandparents played here this a is, lot. That's insane. Yeah, in the uh, 40s and 50s. And, Dude. Uh, this looks like sort of like an ad mat for, for the Aragon. So this is your grandfather? That's my grandfather. Will Back. Will Back, and this is my grandmother. That's, what was her group Clark. called? The Wilback Orchestra. That's amazing. And so she was a singer, and she had a radio show, Coast to Coast, mm -hmm. that started in 1939. And then he heard her on the radio and saw her perform, and then hired her to sing in his band. And everybody would just come to dance. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they played. Yeah, this was here. The, here in yeah. the Aragon. But yeah, a lot of history. That's why it was so cool to finally play here. Dude, right? I'm sure he never thought that his grandson was going to be yeah. here rocking out. I can't think of any place I've, I've really been that's got the vibe of this venue. I think there's a lot of oxygen here and uh, certainly a lot of memories. Whether it's U2, Coldplay, Eagles, Deftones, the Smashing Pumpkins, everybody played it. The list is pretty spectacular. It was definitely known as one of the cornerstones of rock and roll. It was like a den of drugs and madness. And that's exactly the way we liked it. What's weird about the Aragon is that there aren't a lot of buildings this big that were designed for something else that then have a second life half a century later. The Karzas brothers, who are immigrants from Greece, opened the Aragon in 1926 for people to go dancing. The interior of the Aragon, it's really designed to make it feel like you are in a courtyard with balconies. If you haven't experienced the inside, you're really missing something. To see the same aesthetics and architectural structure of a building like this, is unheard of in this day and age, anywhere you're talking about in the whole country, anywhere in North America. When you look around a building like this, you wonder if the craftsmen even exist today to make something that looks this ornate. It's hard to describe. It's like there's a lot to look at. Weird Moroccan kind of decorations and, and a Spanish castle imagery. This room is the courtyard of a Moorish castle in Aragon, Spain. It's, it, it's pretty crazy. 